Welcome, welcome, welcome back again. Fred here and today we're going to talk about the importance of reading and I really want to introduce this reading challenge to you to inspire you to read. And in this video I want to discuss why to read more, how to read more and what you can read. So to start off with why you should read more. Well, first of all, I saw this amazing uh, quote where I lost the source of unfortunately, I can't find it anymore by Google, but it goes along the following, like, there are two ways to explore the world. First of all, you can travel and meet new people and get new perspectives, and you can read more books. And since we're in the middle of a pandemic, it's really hard to do the first thing and travel, but we do have lots and lots of books. And that's really the reason why I wanted to read more. I wanted to build more perspective and learn more. And then concerning what you can read, uh, for me personally, I chose to read more nonfiction books because I wanted to grow uh, personally. I wanted to learn from the books that I read. So I read a lot of nonfiction books like business books, biographies, autobiographies, philosophy, everything like that. But there's also a lot to learn from fiction, for example, character development and things like that. There's more creativity and that just also adds a lot of uh, value to building perspective. And that's really the focus of this reading challenge. I want you to build perspective. So now we come to the question, how can you read more? And I want to give uh, a personal example of mine to explain why habits are so important. And yes, I am talking again about habits, I'm sorry, it's just very important, okay? Listen up. So in 2019, after years of not reading, I decided it's time to pick up reading again and I told myself to read 12 books in 2019. However, the problem was is that I didn't make it a habit to read, so I didn't schedule in time to read, I just did it whenever I really felt like reading and in the end you can really see that I just almost never read and in the end of the year I really had to read so much to catch up on that it wasn't really fun. But then in 2020 when I did decide to make reading a habit again, it became so much fun to read because I just told myself, okay, I'm going to read when I wake up, I'm going to read before I go to bed and I always did that and because I always did it, I really got in this momentum flow where reading was so enjoyable i always remembered what i've read before it was just it was just a lot of fun and that's really what i want to give to you to make reading a habit make it a specific time of the day where you say i'm gonna read and you will see that reading can be a lot of fun and you can learn a lot from it so now we have come to the challenge of this video because in the end i do hope that i inspired you to read more and that you decide to pick up a few books for yourself so I have three steps for you that can really help you to make sure that you stick to reading and that you make sure it stays a habit. So number one is make sure you know in advance how many books you want to read per month. And even if you say I want to read half a book per month, so two uh, months for one book, that's still six books in a year, which is a lot and you can learn a lot from that. So even if you decide that, please do so. So step one was really make sure that you know how many books you want to read per month. Step two is order the books in advance so that you have the books ready when the month starts. And number three is add up the number of pages from the books that you want to read and divide the number of pages by the number of days. So then you know how many pages you have to read per day. And why that helps is that you will know every day if you are on track or if you're slacking. And if you read a few pages more than you're supposed to do, it will really motivate you and you will feel better at the end of the day because it's another to-do thing that you've crossed off and you have read a lot and you just feel great. And if, for example, for some reason you have an event in the evening and you cannot go reading that day, make sure to read a little bit more in advance or a little bit more afterwards the next day and you will always stay on track with reading. And trust me, just do this for one month or two months and really look back at what you've read and how much you've learned. And trust me, you will always make sure that, that reading is a habit and you will never get rid of it again. Trust me. 
I really hope that you learned something from this video. And if you're interested in what I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read three books in the coming month, which is Children of Time from Adrian Chalovsky. I'm going to read The Sailor Who Fell From Grace With The Sea from Yukio Mishima. And I'm going to read Beyond Good and Evil from Friedrich Nietzsche. If you're interested in any three of those or all three, please join me with reading them next month. And also, if you have any suggestions for reading, even for other months, please let me know. Or if you ask me for suggestions, I have plenty of books I can recommend to you. And thereby, I really want to end this video. And I just want to say thank you all so much for all the support until now. It's been amazing to see on the first video how many positive comments I got and how many of you are really analyzing your habits and trying to implement new ones. It's so, so, so inspiring to see and it really keeps me going. Thank you all so much for that. And please subscribe for more content because as always, more amazing content is on the way. Please be positive, stay happy, Fred out.